I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da da oh oh La da 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 oh oh La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles on the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies until the Welcome sun Welcome to Vlogmas, day five These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Vlogmas day five with Gianna getting her little elf on the shelf. So she did find her, it's a little her. And then we left there, headed home, and now I'm getting ready to run out. I've got so many errands to run, and I'm sure the traffic is going to be just crazy, especially on a Saturday. But since I know Mark's gonna be home all day watching college football, this was the perfect day to do my crock pot potpourri. As you can see what I put in there, I put fresh pine uh, from our uh, woods back there um some fresh cranberries cinnamon sticks dried oranges rosemary whole cloves and a little sprinkle of cinnamon it's gonna smell so good in here so i can't wait maybe when i get back from running errands it will smell the aroma will be all throughout the house so i've got a lot to do tomorrow actually capri is getting baptized and what was, was supposed to be a nice big event like it was for giada it's not going to be um it's going to be just morgan and tony and um the godparents are um tony's brother and sister and uh but her his sister isn't feeling very well so um his brother's gonna come and i'm gonna stand in for his sister and it's just gonna be us and with the priest and get her baptized uh and it just how it's gonna have to be unfortunately but um you know it's just important that morgan and tony still wanted to stick with the date as far as getting her baptized she already had ordered a cake so i'm gonna go get the cake mark and i may take a slice tomorrow and then they can go home with it so i have to go pick up the cake and we get the girls pearls uh, for well for their basically first for their baptism and then for their birthdays and for christmas so by the time they're adults and they have a special day or they get married they'll have a full beautiful um necklace of pearls and i know i've mentioned this before especially with giada and a lot of you have mentioned you've done something similar so i'll share that with you so we need to go pick those up and then that printer you guys that i bought yesterday i could never get it 
to connect to our Wi-Fi. It just would not connect. So I am going to return it and head out to probably Best Buy and buy a different one. So I hope I can find it. You know, the thing is, this stuff is so tech anymore, and I am rather techy, but it's so frustrating when you're doing everything right and it just will not connect to my Wi-Fi. And the router is really upstairs right above this room, so it just doesn't make sense. You can't talk to a human being at HP, so I'm, it was very frustrating yesterday. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do that today as well. So I'm gonna go make a to-go coffee. In the coffee for today, day five, I took it out yesterday to bring it with me to Morgan and Tony's so I would have it over their house this morning. But guys, I have no idea what I did with it. I didn't pack it. It's nowhere in this house, so I don't know, maybe I threw it away by accident. I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe Mark used it, who knows. But anyway, I'm gonna go make another cup of coffee and then we've got a lot of errands to run today. All right, so I just got some leggings on, some little comfy boots and this um, little, I don't even wanna call this, kind of a vesty thing. And this was an orchid sweater that's now sold out. And that's really about it, you guys. This is the outfit of the day. I want to be comfortable while out running errands. And it is cold, but it is nice just to have something covering, you know, like your back and chest area and stuff like that. But my arms will be fine. So, all right, Archie, mommy has to go run errands. Okay? All right, I'm outside of Best Buy. You know what? Good thing I bought just yesterday. Well, was it yesterday or the day before? When I was at Sam's Club, um, a box of these disposable masks because I took all mine out and I'm washing all of them. Not all, you know, I, I wash them all the time, but I had like three in here and I'm like, I need to wash those. So thank goodness because I would have had to go back home or would have had to go somewhere to buy a mask to get inside Best Buy. So, all right, let's see if we can find a printer and hopefully one that I can connect to my Wi-Fi. So let's see. Well, I struck out. They have not one printer in Best Buy. Not, not, not one. I mean, they have them on display, but not one in stock. They said they've been like having a hard time getting them in for the last six months. Oh, gosh. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I don't know where to go. All right, well, let me sit here and think about what I'm gonna do next. I don't know where it, Mark needs it so bad for this weekend, so. All right, I'm gonna put my thinking cap on and see where else I can go. All right, guys, here's this cute little place. I'm gonna go in and get the cake. It's called Bake Me Treats. So I'm coming up to a red light, and I wanted to share with you guys. So when I go to the grocery store, I always come back home through my old neighborhood where I grew up. And I just love it. It just gives me such a peace, happiness too, because I just loved my neighborhood. And I don't live very far from it now, our house, but the best memories growing up too. And um, I just love it. I love it. I love to go through my old neighborhood. It just makes me feel happy. And the memories of a child when life was just like, who would have ever thought like something like today, you know? But the blessings we have today too, um, I love all that. I feel so blessed. I thought it would be fun to share with you guys in the neighborhood that I grew up in and the home that I grew up in. And it's this gray one right here. 213, I love you. Looks a little bit different today. They changed the color of the siding, but we had a lot more trees. But I love my house that I grew up in, you guys. My neighborhood. A lot of amazing wonderful memories as a child growing up here. printer to finally work it took about an hour but it's working so I think I like I disconnected the router and then you know plugged it back in and anyway it all started to work and we've got our printer working so it's a, really a blessing that Best Buy was out of printers today so the one that I originally bought from Sam's Club worked and it's white and it matches nice in here so it's perfect uh, so 
and uh, so I've been just doing a little bit of work, starting to edit this vlog, which I haven't done a darn thing. I feel like that I've shared with you guys today, uh, but you guys, I got the cutest thing. I want to say hi to our youngest subscribers. Uh, they are twins. They're nine years old, and they're, they're the daughters of um, friends of ours, and who we just love, 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 love. But anyway, one of the daughters, I guess, somehow, I, I don't remember how, through I don't know, through somehow, found that I had a YouTube channel. <laughs> and anyway, she's called, they call me Aunt Karen, Auntie Karen. So I want to say hi to Ava and Mia. Hey, girls. Oh, my goodness. You guys, we love your mommy and Joe. And, um,. We love going on vacation with them, and I'm just so excited that you um, want to call me Auntie Karen. <laughs> I'll be your Auntie Karen. And uh, anyway, I'm just so pumped that uh, your mommy reached out to me, and I just wanted to say hi to you girls. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys are being good. And um, tell your, give your mommy and Joe a big hug for us, okay? So, all right, guys. Now I'm going to, in a little bit, I want to share with you a really festive kind of a coffee drink that looks so good. So I want to make that here in a little bit. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do a little bit later because um, Mike and Kim might just stop over. They're like, and they're like our little bubble of people because, I mean, they watch their grandbabies too. So um, we all stay really pretty safe. Um, or at least try to, I guess you'd say. We can all try to be safe, but you know, who knows. But anyway, um, so I don't know. They might just do that. But you know, I was like, really wanted to share with you guys a few things. And, and I know probably I've shared this before in the past, but you know, we get so many new subscribers. And so sometimes some of my older stories may be new to all of you. But I think the one thing that I wanted to like ask all of you to share it in the comment section is um, like share one story that you guys can remember, um, like your favorite memory when you were a little girl or boy, whoever, you know, watching this, and um, a Christmas time. I just love hearing those kind of stories. And I know when anyone ever asks me, the one I can think about is, I think I was probably five or six, and it was Christmas Eve, uh, and on our street, there literally was um, a sleigh with Santa, and he came down our street, and all of us kids with our parents were all out, and he, he gave each of us a little gift, and he had, you know, called out our names, and like we went up to him, and he handed us each a little gift, and he said, this is just a little something for tonight, but I want all of you to be, but you know, good boys and girls, and go to bed early tonight, because I've got a lot to do tonight. I gotta go out there and deliver gifts to all the kids in the world, so make sure you guys go home, get in, you know, go home and get to bed, and um, we were so excited, you guys. I can, it, I remember, a few guys around my age, I'm sure you can remember the winters and like, well, I lived in Pittsburgh at the time. The winters were like, like s snow, tons of snow all the time. Like it was extremely festive for the Christmas holidays. You know, for the holiday season, there was always just, just it was cold, a lot of snow. And I remember it was this typical, you know, back then as far as, you know, just cold and, you know, snowy and just festive. And um, I just remember going to bed getting so excited and you know but I remember the one gift that Santa gave he gave us each a different gift but my gift was a Tinkerbell set do you guys remember those and I know I shared this story before but to some of you that are new watching our videos that's just my one story I just can I can picture it as clear as day and I just love that memory that I had and when my kids were little I always wanted to create a memory for them to always remember and uh, you guys now, of course, there's Elf on the Shelf, just like you guys saw Giada this morning. Um, but we had an Elf in our backyard, and his name was Barnaby. And I would, if the girls weren't good, I'd open up the back door and I'd say, Barnaby, you know, Morgan's 
whatever or Caitlin's whatever and they were like they they would be screaming out the door Barnaby don't tell Santa I'm so sorry it was the cutest thing ever but now they got off on the shelf and you know Morgan's starting her own little traditions with Giada and Capri when she gets a little bit older but we used to have the kids you know stay upstairs and I would have all the lights on downstairs Christmas music playing I would have a breakfast casserole already in the oven so it was smelled good and the house and I just wanted it to be magical and then when they came downstairs like the like I said the lights were twinkling and the music was playing it smelled so good in the house and those are like memories that I always try to give my kids we always read um the night before Christmas story every night you know not every night Christmas Eve to the girl so I just love having like a routine that is just something fun so like what what have you guys have done anything like traditional that you I know I've probably even asked you this in past vlogmas this is what I love reading them um, like what have you guys done or maybe what kind of traditions are you starting and um, you know it, it just even my traditions of me growing up you know going to a, a neighbor's house for um, Christmas Eve and then we would go to midnight mass and then we'd come back and we would have like appetizers like that late at night like probably one o'clock in the morning or something like that and we each were allowed to open one gift I mean, this is as we got older this is when we weren't little anymore like probably like in high school age and then we'd open up one gift and then go to bed and you know wake up and we'd sleep in obviously when you're teenagers <laughs> but that was something we did um as you know myself growing up once we got a little bit older with my parents um, but anyway, I just wanted to share all that with you because I just love hearing traditions and stories and I hope you guys enjoyed hearing mine and I can't wait to, to read yours. So, okay, I've talked forever here. I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to start pulling everything out and we're going to make that little festive um, coffee drink for you guys. I'm excited. I know it's going to be delicious. Alrighty guys, I'm going to share with you this delicious, delicious festive coffee. So you want to start off with, I actually bought some of the mint chocolate chip kisses. So I got three of these here. I'll put those in. Some half and half. Oops, just made a little bit of a mess. Made a big mess, but that's okay. <laughs> Excuse the mess. I love mint and chocolate, you guys. Love it. Starbucks, the peppermint mocha is my favorite. So now this is all frothy. Double insulated cups here of my actually peppermint mocha coffee. Any kind of festive coffee would be great, you guys. Okay, let's test it out. <laughs> that is really good. You guys, honestly, so much better than Starbucks. Okay, so these are the little kisses. They were mint truffle. But actually, you can use, there's actually, I think, mint, even, um, a, a minty type of a kiss too uh so you know whatever ones you want to use but i love chocolate mint so i thought this was perfect and then i was able to add like i said the candy cane and again i forgot to add the um half and half has to be hot so i just put it in the microwave for like a minute and a half uh before you then pour it over the kisses and then you want to froth it up a little bit and add it to your cup. Right, guys, well, it's almost 6 o'clock. Mike and Kim are going to just stop over real quick and say hi. I'm going to enjoy spending a few minutes with them. And, uh, and I want to hurry up and get this edited so that Mark and I can enjoy our night tonight. And then tomorrow we've got the christening and um, whatever else the day brings. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I know it wasn't anything too exciting. But please be sure to share in the comment section your stories. If you can remember back when you were little at Christmas or... Again, maybe some of those traditions that you did. So I think it's just so nice that everyone could, you know, get ideas and share and stuff like that in the comment section because we've got so many new subscribers and I think it's nice. Maybe someone might be thinking or trying to figure out a new tradition for their family. So 
Hey, real quick, I wanted to share with you. Look at this. It's still smelling really good, you guys. The house smells so festive. So if you guys do this, let me know. I love the way it came out. Uh, as far as the scent of the house, it smells really, really good. Well, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful evening. And I hope that you leave a special note for someone tonight. And uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. When it's Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family.